What about New England's first and New England's second? 21 and 54. That's what New England has. Would they trade 21 and 54? And would you send Debo Samuel to the Patriots? Well, if you're Debo Samuel, why would you want to live there and not play here if the money was the same? Uh, you know, again, part of this is hard as we don't exactly know what the issue is, but time zone at least is the same, closer. Yeah, see, to me, if I'm Debo, I would refuse to sign a contract there, and it feels, if I'm just going to guesstimate on Debo Samuel, he would refuse to sign a contract in New England. Why would he just stay here? With Kyle, I, the place is miserable. <laughs> Freezing cold? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> From what? a draft standpoint, 2154. Oh, it would intrigue that. me. 21 is worth 261. You like how I'm doing this math by hand? I'm, it makes me feel good. And uh, 104, that's 365, which is basically the 10th pick. So we're in the right range here with a lot of these. I had someone in the NFL tell me that Debo is worth more than the 10th pick. He's just too good. I agree with that person in the NFL. He was exceptional. Like elite, like as good as it gets. It doesn't get any better. Like whatever gr greatness is, like dominating with a ball in your hand, it, it does. It just he peaked. Like it, it, his did high he? end is as high. I, I meant like no, I know what you meant, but better. then I said, did he? Though, so, well, is that, it possible that's where you did. Yeah, I mean, it's what's well, it's impossible to get any better than that. It's just can you maintain that for like three years? I think it's hard. I think it's borderline impossible. Yeah, <laughs> but he, but to me again, like he doesn't have. This is where I keep saying. I go back to he doesn't have to carry the ball 60 times to be a good a great player for you, I don't think. But no, when he does carry it and the threat of him carrying it is what makes you a better team.